Hey guys, it's Kendra and today I'm going to be talking to you all about oil, in particular the oil cleansing method, which is a way to wash your face. So I've been doing this for a really long time, but I haven't done a full video on it. I've mentioned it here and there. So I wanted to dedicate just an entire video to the oils that you can use and basically just what it is. So most of you know I'm a huge fan of oils. I love incorporating them into my beauty routine. I use them at night as a moisturizer, as a serum. I use them in my hair. I use them on my body. Oils are just so moisturizing. They're great for anti-aging. They're great for just putting so many nutrients into your skin. So most of the time when I wash my face, I like to use an oil first to take my makeup off. And they work so much better than using a typical makeup remover. Like if you go to the drugstore and get a, you know, makeup remover that they sell, those just, I even got one um, like a week ago. It was just sent to me in a box in the mail and I decided to try it and it did nothing for me. So if you guys use those as your makeup remover right now currently, just give oils a try and just try for yourself and see if you like it. So typically I just use coconut oil to take my makeup off. I have mine in this little mason jar. I just scoop some into here. It's good for travel too. The oil cleanse method is a little bit different. It's when you take a few different oils depending on your skin type, mix them up together and that's what you use for your makeup remover and cleanser. So I'm going to go through a couple different oils that I have on hand, let you know which ones would be good for your skin type and then just show you what I do. So I want you guys to know that you're going to have to play with this a little bit. I've been sort of playing with the ratio of different oils that I've used, different types of oils, and you just have to see what works with your skin, what you like better, and just kind of go from there. So what I did when I first started doing this, I just got a little bottle like this, and I just started with a little bit of oil, and then say you like the ratio that you use, then you can make more and just stick this in your bathroom. So when I first started, I started with olive oil and castor oil. Castor oil I think is essential for everybody doing an oil cleanse because it's perfect at getting all the gunk out of your pores. It really gives you a super, super deep clean. So I liked olive oil because it's really good for sensitive skin, it's really soothing and moisturizing. I usually do a ratio of two to one, so two parts olive oil and one part castor oil because my skin is pretty dry right now and castor oil, if you use too much of it, then it can be a little drying on your skin. But if you have really oily skin, you can get away with using a little bit more of the castor oil. I also just started using avocado oil, so I poured a little bit of this into my mix. This is really good for really dry skin and mature and aging skin, so this is perfect for the winter months. My skin is so dry right now, if you can believe it, it's 80 degrees out here right now, it's insane. It's putting me in a bad mood, but because of that and this crazy weather, my skin is so dry and itchy, so I added some avocado oil to really give my skin a lot of moisturization. Sunflower seed oil is really good for all skin types. Jojoba oil is a really good one if you have acne prone skin. And then if you have oily skin, grapeseed oil is really good and sweet almond oil. I had sweet almond oil, but I think my mom was using it so I don't know where it is right now. But the, I will list everything down below if you guys want to see like specifics for what type of skin you have. So another like variation you could do is castor oil and sunflower oil. So what you would do is take either one part castor oil and two parts sunflower oil or you could do half and half, or you can do two parts of this, one part of this. It really depends on your skin type, and you need to give it a try first and see what it's like. Again, I'll put that down below. So let's say it's the end of the day, you're ready to take your makeup off and wash your face. The one thing you need to not do is to wash your face with water first. You want to take the oil out of here. I take like, I don't know, a couple different droplets of this rub it in between my palms and apply it directly to my dry face with all my makeup on. And you start rubbing it all around your face. I like to rub it around my actual face first and then onto my eyes just so you don't get all your mascara everywhere at once. So I rub it all over my face then really work it into my eyelashes, my eyeliner just to get everything off. I like to go underneath my eyes and the nice thing is it won't burn your eyes at all. Since these are all natural pure oils, they are not going to irritate your skin or your eyes. So after you have really taken a lot of time to massage this, work it into your skin, it's kind of relaxing at the same time. Take a towel, preferably a darker towel because you don't want to get all your makeup on a white towel, and put it under warm water. Don't get it too hot, but just put it under warm water and then you're going to lay that directly on top of your face and let it 
sit there for a little bit and it helps your skin to steam and just to really get pull everything out of your pores and then you just start draping it down your face and rubbing all of that oil off and it will take all the makeup off with it and then you just dry your face with a clean towel and that is it the nice thing about this is it's a one step thing so you don't have to go back and wash your face after you take your makeup off this takes your makeup off, washes your face, and moisturizes your face at the same time. So a couple of things to know if you guys are wondering how often you should do this. Right now I do this about once a week. Another thing to kind of think about is what cleanser you're going to be using when you're not doing the oil cleanse. Because if you're going to be using like a store-bought cleanser with a bunch of sulfates in it, your skin might get confused, like when you're using just pure natural oil and then using sulfates, that's going to really strip your skin. I would suggest to get a cleanser that's more natural so your skin is not like going like this. You're pretty steady with using natural products. Uh, I will list a couple of my favorites down below, but you guys know I like the Sibu one and the Andalou Naturals cleanser, so I will list those below. Another thing is you probably won't have to use a moisturizer after you do this because your skin will be pretty moisturized as it is. I find that I usually don't, but sometimes if I feel really dry, then I'll put a little bit of moisture on top. Now, some of you may not like this. I personally love it because the fact that I can use just straight oil to take my makeup off and wash my face and moisturize my skin in one is pretty awesome to me. But I could see some people thinking this is kind of a hassle having to, I don't know, rub every. It's kind of messy, but at the end, it's really worth it. So. It's just a personal thing, so I would definitely recommend you guys try this out a couple times to see how you like it, see how your skin reacts to it. If you don't use nat all natural products, then it'll take a little bit of time for your skin to get used to being just using natural oils, but I think in the long term, it'll really benefit your skin. So I hope you guys got some good tips. If you do this already, please let me know in the comments what oils you use and the ratios of them that you use because I am always going to try new combinations. And I think that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.